Hey you guys, I'm coming to you from the park today. Thought it would be a good idea to go and smell the fresh air. It's freezing! I made this super effective short yoga class for three reasons. One, because you should work. We all like short classes. Two, because it's good to lose weight after you've eaten a lot of food at a party. Who doesn't go to a party these days? Nobody. It's the pandemic. But you know what I mean. If you know you're going somewhere where there's gonna be food, do the class before. It's just five minutes. You will not be tempted to eat so much because you'll be so aware of your internal organs. But if you're already back, and you've eaten to your heart's content, then after you sleep it off, do the class and you'll start to release toxins, digest better and lose some weight and then look wonderful. Five minutes, five postures, let's do it. Okay, five minutes, let's go to squatting. And then we're going to grab that outside part of the left elbow and put it outside the right knee and then once you have that, you can put the palm in front of you for more leverage and the other palm behind you. And then we're going to inhale and lengthen and exhale, twist and look back. There, breathing it. Feel that twist. Keep the knees facing forward. Heel stir the mat if you want a little bit more intensity. Good, and now come front. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. This is great for the legs as well because of all the stretching. So the palms are next to me, so they're helping me. The right elbow comes to the outside of the left knee. Now I'm propping myself. You may need to move the area of the belly to the side. I like doing that because I have a little bit of a muffin top. So I move it there and then inhale, lengthen the spine and on the exhale, twist. Releasing that part. With long inhale and long exhale as much as you can. And come front. Great. Let's do it. Jump to plank. And then inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Feel the dog here just for a moment. And float yourself to sitting. Now we'll do my chasana. Left leg in front of you. Right leg bend. Knee next to your chest and the right palm behind me. We do the same gesture, so the left elbow comes to the outside of the right knee. And now on the inhale, work on lengthening the spine, and on the exhale, twist. You're probably beginning to feel it, yeah? And come back to center, change the position of the legs. The right elbow comes to the outside of the left knee. The left palm leverages me, so I can inhale and lengthen the torso, and on the exhale, twist. You're doing great. The internal organs are going to thank you for this one. One more breath here and relax. Shake the legs a little. See how you're feeling. Same posture, but this time the left leg comes bends and the left foot is under my right back. The left knee is still bent and left elbow to the outside of the right knee, leveraging with my back palm. Inhale, lengthen, and on the exhale, I twist. A deeper twist, this one. Fantastic for the digestive system to ease constipation. And come back to center. Transition through the center, shaking the legs a little. Now the right foot is under my butt. The left leg is bent. And the outside of the right elbow comes to the outside of the left knee. Inhale, lengthen the torso and exhale, twist. And relax, come forward. And now we're gonna do Navasana. We, we take the shape of a V, so the legs are up 45 degrees and so is the torso. And we count here, five, four, breathing, you breathe, I count. And in between Navasanas, we're gonna put the palms on the mat and lift up without having the feet touch the mat. Can you do that? So lift up and then back down. It's hard for me, so I get it. And now we count again here in Navasana, breathing, toning those internal muscles. Navasana, the boat pose. And let's lift up to Lasana without touching. Very good, the last time. There we go, breathing. Toning the digestive system, cleaning it, helping it work. 
and up and down. Let's do a transition pose, so fly into chaturanga. I like to fly, like so. And then up dog, and down dog. And for the last posture, we'll come to seated forward bend. So legs in front of you and we pour our torso down. Do you need to bend the knees? Bend them, go ahead. On the next inhale that you can, walk your palms back up and take a sweet and relaxing resting pose. I'm very happy that you guys like these shorter classes and that you told me that. Thank you. I'll keep doing them. Hit subscribe, hit the bell and like the video if you did. I hope to see you in the next class and until then, the light in me says hello to the light in you. Namaste.